Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey, if anybody is new and joining me here today, thank you so much. My slogan, like I always say, is believable brown beauty. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate, it's just an explanation of the makeup I do on this channel. So if that sounds like something you'd like, please keep watching. Okay, so today's video. Guys, I am dedicated to the cause. I got back from holiday yesterday night. I think I have like, can you have dyslexia with calendars and dates? Because I think, I think I have that. Um, I thought I was back on Thursday night. Turns out I was back on Friday night. And today, why am I, this is gonna be weird because it's gonna be past tense, but today I had to go and do my mum's makeup because she was going to an event and she asked me before I was going on a holiday if I would do it for her when I came back. So yeah, we had no food in the house, I had to go and do a food shop. So basically it is now um, half past seven in the evening and I am shooting this video for tomorrow. Today's video. So I was on holiday, I'm much browner than usual. I was on holiday, we went to Italy for 10 days and it was the best time. I wore makeup twice in 10 days and one of those days was yesterday when I was coming back home and I think the other day I literally wore like brow pencil and mascara and that was it. I actually have, I don't know if you can see but my nose is dark. Like I've got lines on the side of my nose from where I wore sunglasses the whole time so my nose <laughs> has got really dark and here hasn't. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting pattern on my face. So I was thinking about makeup um, for holidays and I don't know about you guys but I want stuff that's really really simple I mean the easier it is um, the more likely I am to do something so today I thought I would do a super simple summer makeup and I'm going to try and use minimal products and minimal brushes just to make this really easy so enough talking let's get into the makeup first I'm taking my benefit 24 hour brow setter and I'm just gonna brush up struggleina like I'm super, super happy. This is what happens when I'm in the sun. It's like, it literally is a drug for me. What would be good Stace is if you didn't put brow gel on your eyelid. That might be the way to go. Okay, so I'm gonna brush up my brows and let them sit in place. Um, I have groomed them a tiny bit because I had some brow hairs down here that I will never need. But struggling are still struggling. But we'll see if I can bring her up to Look at the difference, it's just crazy. Anyway, right, now I'm gonna move on to skin. Also, I should say, I don't know if these things are gonna work. My concealer might still work because I wore sunglasses the whole time, but my foundation, I think, is gonna be darker, so we'll just see how it goes. I am using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand, which looks hella light at the moment, but we'll see what happens when I blend it in. And this is a 228. No, you're lying, it's a 124. No, it's not, it's a 142. Concealer brush from Zoeva, and I'm just gonna buff this in. So far, so good. So yeah, just buff that all in. I've taken a Real Techniques um, sculpting brush, I think this is called. Yep, and just buff the edges away. I don't know about you guys, but in the summer, I want to feel like my skin is free. So I'm gonna try and use as little coverage as I can. And obviously if you have like more scars or more concerns, then you may feel more comfortable using more. But for me, like less is definitely more in summer. So I'm taking my Cover FX Power Play foundation and this time I'm using the color G110. I usually wear G100, but I know I'm darker. So we'll see how this works out. Oh yes, perfect. So I'm just lightly buffing that on. And like, I'm not one of these people that's super anal about having every single floor covered. It may not show up on camera, but I do actually have like a tiny bit of um, scars and pigmentation, but I would rather that my skin looked real than spending hours like spot concealing. It's not that big of a concern to me. And I think now you can probably see that my nose is darker than everywhere else. I wonder if this will go over. I don't usually put foundation on my nose, but that is, um, <laughs> it's annoying me a little bit. Let's put a tiny bit on my forehead. Buff that in. Then I'm taking my NARS Sheer Glow. What colour is this? Cartoon. Taking a tiny bit. And I'm just going to see if I can bridge the gap. Or my, actually, I need a smaller brush. I'm going to go back to my 142 and just try and blend this hard line into something because that looks so weird. I think that's a bit better. Yeah. Let's do the same on this side. 
I didn't think about that when I was laying on the beach every day with these massive sunglasses on. And now I've just got this weird line. And it's all right at the moment because it's still really sunny in London. So I'm just wearing them so no one knows. But when I'm doing this video, you can kind of see it a bit more. I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny bit of the cartoon and just blend that up on my forehead. Cool, so for brows, I am using my Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil, is that right? Yes, I got the name right. Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil from uh, Benefit. And I'm just gonna fill in Struggleina here. Anyone who's new and thinking why, Struggleina is the name that I've given to this brow, because she is struggling. I'm gonna lightly fill in my brows. They're not super groomed, they're just a little bit more tame because I had some really unruly hairs that weren't really helping anybody. So I plucked those out earlier, but I'm keeping the shape pretty organic and I'm just taking the spoolie end and brushing that up. Breaking up that line there. Cool. At the moment, I really like my brows looking like I haven't really done them. So the spoolie is my best friend. And let's just do the good brow. The good brow that has no name that I still have to figure out. I think someone left me a comment about what I could call this brow, but I can't remember what she said. But I think the good brow deserves a name for being well behaved and making my life easy. It's so easy to do this brow. See, look at that. They don't even look like they're on the same, like they belong on the same face. Why can't I just have this eyebrow? <sighs> like I always feel like I've done a good job on this brow. Then I do my good brown, I'm like, no, Stace, you really haven't. So I'm gonna go in again. Try and make some sense of this patchy eyebrow. That's fine, like they say. Brows are sisters and not twins. Moving on today. This is gonna be my hero product. It's the Retro Matte Lipstick from MAC in the color Bengal Tiger, which I use, I've used quite a bit on this channel, but I really like it. Um, there's definitely a line of trends. I did, like one of my earlier videos was about um, summery eye makeup and it was all on blue, but okay, this is the truth. When I was on holiday, I put a picture up on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on my Instagram, I'll leave my handle for you here. Please check it out. But um, I put a picture up of me drinking an Aperol Spritz with a blue sky in the background and I was like, oh, I like that combo, well, obviously, it's color theory. So I thought, I'm gonna do orange instead of blue, because I've done a blue look already for the eyes, and so now I'm gonna do an orange one. I am taking this Bengal Tiger, and I'm gonna start on this eye, which is the harder eye for me to do. So the reason why I decided to do orange is because I've done blue already, and in my opinion, orange looks amazing on black skin, or brown skin, or, or however you address yourself, but I love the way orange looks on my skin, especially when I've been in the sun. My skin looks way more golden than it normally does, and I like the fact that the orange plays this up, so that's why I chose orange. So I'm gonna use this as an eyeliner today. I like to use this brush. Some people prefer to use an angled brush, but for me, I prefer to use a straight brush like this. Is that showing up? Do I have to do the, the YouTube hand? Yeah, like that. I like that kind of brush because I have really curly eye, eyelashes and it's much easier to get behind them. I had to stop talking there, too much concentration. Yeah, but it's much easier for me to get behind them with this brush than it is with an angled liner. I find when I use an angled liner on people that have really curly lashes, you end up with so much product on their lashes, which can sometimes make the mascara look a bit clumpy afterwards. So I always like to use one like this. I was kind of toying with the idea of doing a white eyeliner. Because you know, Rihanna's just done one recently and it did look really beautiful. But I think orange is more fun like, to use an actual colour. I always see like black and white as, as not colours. Even though they are, they kind of aren't. Does that make sense? You know what I mean, so I thought I'd do orange. And now I'm just gonna connect this together. I'll explain actually what I did on the other eye. Cause I was too busy talking. I forgot to say what I was doing. Ooh, that is cool. Right, I might make it a bit thicker. Yeah, that's fun. 
really fun. I need a cotton bud, one second. I've got a tiny bit of the orange just here. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the second eye. Let me explain. Okay, so I like to use the inner waterline as my guide for my flick. So my the corner of my flick is always connected to my waterline. And then it's just a case of checking to make sure that the angle is the same. And this just needs to be a tiny bit more pulled up. Yeah. And then I make this face <laughs> to stretch my eye and pull that in. And then I just do the, the main line here. With a look like this, it's really important to make sure that you get all the skin. You don't wanna see like bits of your own skin peeking through the gaps in your liner. So take your time and just make sure you do all of those bits too. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I have to add a disclaimer here. This is a lip product that hasn't been tested for the eyes to my knowledge. If you have sensitive skin or sensitive eyes and you, you know, you're prone to reactions, maybe don't use this. I know that MAC do a orange chroma line and I think Inglot do one as well. But I like to use makeup as much as possible in lots of different ways. Um, so yeah, that's why you'll see me on my channel a lot using like lip products on the eyes, eye products on the lips, because I like to get my money's worth out of them, so yeah. Just so you know, I've let you know that this may not work if you have sensitive eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the cheeks. I'm using the same product. Gonna get, oh, I'm gonna do this directly actually. Am I? Am I? No, I'm gonna go to my hand. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit on my hand like this. This bit here. I'm gonna go back to my sculpting brush that I use for my foundation, work it into the bristles, and then just, stamp it on. Now, I have gone too heavy handed on this side, so I'm gonna show you how to fix it. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the foundation and I'm just gonna soften that a little bit because it's a bit strong. And that's a really cool tip as well, like if you find that you put too much blush on or too much highlighter, you can just kind of cancel it out with some foundation over the top. So that's what I've done here. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to lips. I am using a Paris Berlin pencil in the colour 214 and I'm just going to, oh I've got some lip balm on so I'm just going to take that off first. I'm just going to line my lips with this. This is also a bit of a habit of mine. I like to use like lots of, not lots, but I like to layer my lip pencils. So now I'm taking just my type from MAC which is a much cooler brown. It's like a brown black and I'm going to use that to kind of blend that into the red brown. This is a really cool technique, but you have to be really careful with the Just My Type pencil because it can take your lip to trolla really quickly. And that's cool if that's what you want, but that's not the look I'm going for today. So I'm gonna go back over with the red brown just to blend the two colors together a bit more. Right, gonna go back to Bengal Tiger and I'm gonna use this as my lip color as well. And I like to put lipstick on and then just use my lips as the blender and kind of work it into the right place. So just bear with me for a second whilst I do that. I think this is years of wearing lipstick. I've learned how to do this. No brush needed. But if you struggle, use a brush. There's nothing wrong with that. And then I just use my finger to blend the, the inside lip edge and the outer lip edge, because sometimes that can sit a bit weird. Tiny bit more. Just 
So now that I've got that on, I'm gonna go back and finish the eyes. I am taking a cold pencil from Estee Lauder and I am going to tight line, which I hate. Can I do this? Let me just do it with a mirror. I don't think I can do it without one. Excuse my face if it looks weird when I do this, but this is one of my least favorite things to do when it comes to makeup. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's what my son says, oh dear. And I'm not sure if this is going to read on camera, but when I tight line, it makes my lashes look much thicker at the root and it also creates a stronger contrast between my lash line and the orange liner. So that's why I've done that. I'm do the second eye. Oh, that's easier. Oh no, no it isn't, because now I've just drawn over my liner, so I'm gonna have to fix that as well, but fine. I thought it would be easy if I didn't look in the mirror. It doesn't tickle as much, but then my hand slipped and I messed up my liner, so I've got to go back and fix it. Right, a little mistake, it's fine. I'm gonna go back to my, oh, did I say the brush? It was a 210 liner from MAC, my favorite liner brush. And I'm just gonna go over the black coal pencil that I accidentally drew on the orange. And I am just using a patting or stippling motion to put that on. So that the black doesn't get blended and go all sludgy. Okay. Now I'm gonna finish off with mascara. I am using my Extended Play Mascara in Giga Black. People who don't watch my videos all the time be like, what is wrong with her? But I always forget the name of this mascara, even though I use it in almost every video. So I have to really pause and think. And I'm gonna go on the lower lashes first. And then I'm gonna do the top lashes too. I like to use this as a, a lash primer. It's so good for definition, this mascara. So good, and it doesn't smudge in the heat. It just doesn't smudge in general, so it's especially good when it's hot and it is roasting in London at the moment. So yeah, this is a good one. Yay. And actually now I've looked at this and I need, need a cold pencil on my waterline, so I'm just gonna do that too. And this is just the Estee Lauder cold pencil, the double wear one in 01. Yeah, I think that's better. Now I'm gonna go over my top lashes with my Inextreme 3D Black Lash Mascara. I really love the brightness of the orange behind the lashes. I feel like the lashes make the orange look strong and the orange liner shows how long your lashes are. Sometimes when you wear black liner, especially this thick, it makes you look like you've got no lashes. So this is a cool little trick that I like to do. Okay, so now this is it. This is the end of the makeup. The final thing I'm gonna do is just set everything. So I am taking, what is this brush called? A blush brush from Real Techniques. And I'm using my Cover FX setting powder in deep. And I'm just going to get rid of the shine. And then I'm taking my Danessa Myricks powder in 05. And I'm using the same brush and I'm just gonna use this to warm up the perimeter of my face. Oh, there you have it guys, that's the final look for today. You can see I used the same product on my cheeks, my eyes and my lips and they look completely different. So it just goes to show how much you can manipulate one product to get lots of different finishes from it. So I think that was kind of cool. Also they're all really long wearing. I mean the retro matte lipsticks for MAC are super, super long wearing. So using it as an eyeliner, a lipstick and a blush, like your makeup is gonna stay in place. And in the heat and being in the sun, who doesn't want that? Also, another reason why I did this look is because, if you're anything like me, when it comes to eating, the lip comes off. And more often than not, I don't do the lipping. I just put a lip gloss on that I have like rocking around in my handbag. So the cool thing about this is that even if the lips wear away or you change them, the eye look in itself is quite striking. So you don't really need to do much more, like a bit of lip balm or a lip gloss would be good. So yeah, that was another fun thing, I think. So guys, that's the final look for today. Um, I think, can you be 
high on sunshine. I think I'm really high on sunshine. Like I am super, super happy today. And I know it's, I think it's just because I've just come back from holiday and also that I've been in the sun for like almost two weeks. So yeah, I can definitely feel a difference in my personality. But, um, and I'm very waffly even more so but anyway thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and hit the notification bell because apparently you, they don't send out emails anymore when my videos go up which probably explains why my viewership has gone down if you'd like to know when my videos go up please don't forget to hit the notification bell um i think i said the instagram thing already but i'm going to put my handle again for you here so you can't say i didn't tell you um yeah thanks so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye